Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. So the language in our research paper is very very important. So how you are establishing the work you have done in 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 presenting it it as a words it as a sentences is very important in research paper writing. So in order to improve your language, there are many grammatical checking tools are available. So in that line up. What we are going to discuss is that two important grammar, grammar checking tools which you can use for free and you can get the suggestions from that uh, AA tool and also you can improve the language of your research paper using such AA tools. So let us go on to today's video and explore that AA tools which will be very very useful for grammar check. So before going to our today's video an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct online workshop on research paper writing using chat gpt and ai toolbox so many of you are asking what is the special tool useful uh, that is that can be useful for uh, research paper preparation particularly for you are telling it as in for you can do this uh, literature survey using different types of ai tool which one among the best so like that many of the comments are coming so i am going to answer in this workshop that which is the best tool where you can use and what are the important free free tools you can use for this research paper preparation and also we are going to explore what are the different chat gpt prompts which will be very very useful for research paper writing and also we are going to explore that how that chat gpt prompts works by converting your references into a theoretical content so these are the things we are going to discuss in this online workshop on research paper writing chat gpt and ai toolbox so don't forget to register our online workshop the link for the registration will be given in the description of the video so see you on our workshop Another important announcement is that we are going to conduct an technical workshop that is live MATLAB workshop on advanced control and energy system modeling. So the main objective of this workshop is to uh, make sure that how to uh, design a DC to DC converter. So these are the important things we are going to discuss in this workshop that is optimization of PID control parameters for DC to DC converters and modeling of grid connected PV system and then modeling of PV based EV charging station. So these are the important outcomes from this workshop. So don't forget to register our online workshop on that is MATLAB workshop on advanced control and energy system modeling. So, so the, the link for the uh, registration will be given in the description of the video. So see you on this workshop. So moving forward to our today's video. So our today's video is about the different grammar check tools. So in that first what we are going to do is we are going to check that as text buddy. So it is a grammar check tool. So in this text buddy you will be having this option you can see here. So improve your writing with the power of plain language and our AA. Our writing tool analyze your text identifying areas that could be clearer and more concise. So in order to explore that tool what you are going to do is. So here another option is called text analyzer tool. So click on the text analyzer tool. So after that you can copy and paste any common things here. So I am going to copy this paragraph. So copy and paste this paragraph. So here our score is 32 uh, percentage. So number of words is 115 words. So here you can see you can click any that is any sentence. So in this uh, the sentence will change what is the type of sentence. So it is a complex sentence. Can you split this sentence into two? So next uh, complex sentence is you can uh, select that one. For example, if you want to meaning of a particular word, so you can what you can uh, do is you can select this highlighted one. For example, directly it's adverb. Can you find a stronger verb or describe uh, any activity? So next in order to find the meaning. So I am going to click uh, a particular word. So in that I am going to click uh, it as a solar. So it, it will generate synonyms for that particular uh, words we have clicked for. So here it will generate as a sun. So next I am going to click encompasses. So here you can see uh, synonyms spans. So next uh, I am going to click on visible. So here the uh, synonyms is coming that it is clear. So like that it will uh, generate the better synonyms for the words in that and also it will give suggestions. 
so what is the type of sentence and how that sentence can be changed whether it has to be splitter or like that so next you can view your score here so here you can see <coughs> our score is 32 percentage so 32 percentage is hard to readability so we have to improve this sentences so that is what we can get a conclusion from the ca tool so you have to improve your sentences so the higher your score the more you your text is plain language the score depends on your average sentence and the word length the highlighted areas in your text also influence your score so you can use any paraphrasing tool to change or any grammatical uh, that is you can use quill boat like the tool to correct it grammatically so and then you can check here for this uh, grammar in, in in this text body so you can make use of this uh, checking tool and you can um, have a better idea about what you have written and also you can text and analyze the score of what you have written whether the sentence is quality or not so you can check the quality of your sentences in your research paper using this text buddy so this is the first a tool what we have discussed so you can go on and explore so here you will be having many options that is <coughs> login premium so if you are interested in this tool go on and explore this tool if you are interested in you can go for this premium option that is a paid version so other or else this itself is enough it will give suggestions so thereby from the suggestions you can improve by uh, using uh, any paraphrasing or grammar correction tools <coughs> So next one is that scribbins. So it is also a tool which is related to your grammar. So here you can see this is the dashboard of the scribbins. So here you will be having this uh, grammar check dictionaries, grammar rules, extensions, etc. So here what you have to do is you have to copy and paste that sentences which is to be checked. So what I am going to do is I am going to copy and paste the sentence. So I am going to copy and paste two paragraphs here. So here I have two paragraphs and then you can click on check. So it will take several seconds to check. Yes, uh, it is checked. So here you can see this Scribbins checks the grammar of your text and finds spelling mistakes. So here you can see <coughs> this is the statistics <coughs> that, that is the number of words is 169 words and the sentence is seven sentence paragraph is two. The characters with spaces is uh, 1108 characters without spaces is 939 average words per sentence is 24 average syllables per uh, word is 1.86 next to readability is 24.46 readability is 17.7 .7. so reading time speaking time so these are the analysis statistics next you can see this sentences it is a long sentence it will be three short sentence will be two next to word pattern uh, pattern occurrence so here you can see the number of words um, that is used often that is of occurrence on of occurrence is eight and a is six and and is six times so like that it will also analyze that next uh, dual word phrase that is number of times the phrase phrases is used pv system is four times of the is two used for is two so this is triple word phrase frequency next average syllables per word 82 uh, that is 48.52 percentage so like that it will analyze even better uh, and give you a statistics on the paragraph you have copied so next is style so i am going to click on style so here you can see word repetition so in this you will be having word repetition is system nine times solar five times pv five times energy two times next to vocabulary enhancement words and phrases is four so like that it will generate grammar related things so in this particular tool so instead and also it will show the thing that instead of r you can use and next instead of from you can use next instead of nowadays you can use currently so like that the suggestions also will be you will be getting so next is synonyms there is no suggestions related with the synonyms so these are the important options and also you can see this special characters import export so you can copy and paste the sentences so these are the important things available to check grammar in this scribbins so you can go on go for this AE tool and you can copy and paste the content you have preferred for your research paper writing so thereby it will correct what are the correct grammatically and it will analyze what are the important things available in this particular uh, sentences and also it will give suggestions to change the sentence 
So here from this you can change that if often using the same words again and again you can change the words by changing the meaning of the words. So a proper synonyms will change that. So like that you can uh, make use of the scribbins to check your grammar. So another thing is that uh, it, it will be having grammar rules. So here you can see verbs, homonyms, miscellaneous, typograph, typography, parts of speech. So like that it will have a brief uh, thing about grammar. If you are interested in you can go on and study. So you can people who are in academic side you can uh, suggest your students to uh, go for the scribbins and to learn grammar or the basics of the grammar. So under you can see this is very important for research paper writing typography. So many of our uh, research paper will be subjected to typo errors. So in order to make an awareness about typo, so you can go ahead and study this things that is spacing, period, semicolon use, question mark, multiple punctuation marks, hyphens, number format, currency format, writing dates, writing the time, use of etc. So like that parenthesis and bracket. So how to use this particularly in this sentences. So thereby you, you, you can get an idea. For example, say I am going to check use of etc. So etc is a Latin usually abbreviated EETC. It is used for two reasons. When the omitted materials is obvious and when the additional information is unnecessary. I have all the necessary items to make a cake like flour, sugar, etc. You will find tissues in the bathroom living room kitchen etc so like that you can uh, justify whether the etc can be used uh, correctly in your research paper or not so thereby you will be getting an aware about the grammars also so these are the important things related with the scribbins so you can make use of this option in the scribbins scribbins to check your uh, that is language of your research paper and you can improve the language of your research paper from the suggestions given in this uh, tools that is the two tools we have discussed so far that is text buddy and scribbins so make use of this AE tools to improve the language in your research paper so hope this video will be very helpful for you so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you